Hi, this is Dr. Dave, and in this video we want to look at how to calculate the future value of a simple ordinary annuity. By ordinary, that means that the, the time at which we make the payments into this annuity is at the end of the period, and by simple, that means the compounding period matches up with the payment period. So here what you have in front of you is our simple ordinary annuity formula. Remember the F is the future value. The R is the payment. I is the interest rate per period. And the N is the number of periods. So let's go ahead and see how this works. Franco is saving to buy a new motorcycle. If he deposits $55 at the end of each month in an account that pays an annual interest rate of 2.5%, how much will he have in 30 months? Assume that the compounding is being done monthly. So we know we're going to be using this formula here. And so what we're going to find is the future value. So we're going to be solving for F. And they told us that the payments, the deposits that he's making at the end of each month are $55. So R must be equal to 55. Now let's work out the part that's inside the brackets. So we have 1 plus the interest rate is 2.5%. But per period, that's going to be 2.5% divided by 12, or 0 0.025, because we need to enter these as a decimal, over 12. Now, we're going to do this for 30 months, so that's going to be 30 periods, minus 1, and then the interest rate per period, 0 0.025 over 12. So that's what we need to work out. Now, I find that it's a little bit more handy to put this into the calculator with a different set of parentheses. I'm going to group everything on top inside of parentheses, everything on the bottom inside of the parentheses. So now let's take a look at the calculator and see how this works. So I'm going to start out and say 55 times, big parentheses for the top, another set of parentheses, 1, plus 0 0.025 divided by 12, and the parentheses upstairs, and then raise that to the 30th power. Subtract 1, and now I end the parentheses for the top of the fraction. I'm going to divide that by parentheses 0 0.025 divided by 12, and the parentheses. So I've got the set of parentheses around the top and the bottom, and then the parentheses which I'm putting the power on. Press the Enter key, and we get $1,700 and about 83 cents if we round it to the nearest penny. So the key thing here is remember to put those parentheses in carefully you can put those all in on one line and then press enter. 